Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slayton's Racing. This is a new product we have called the Nitro Moose Wedge. Uh, we've been asking for this for a while uh, from the guys at Nitro Moose and they accommodated us and made this product. And it's to tune up your moose system. So uh, there, obviously there's two different Nitro Mooses. There's the plushie, which is the black one, and that's the soft one. Gives you, uh, I forget what pressure it is, five to seven pound pressure and then the other one is the tan one is the platinum which you know, gives you like a 12 to 14 pound feel and what this wedge is for now a lot before I even go into what it's for a lot of uh, long time moose guys the old hardcore moose guys have been using them for 20 years uh, they've already kind of figured this out on their own they keep old nitro mooses or old mooses around and uh, take pieces of, out of them and do what this is going to do. So what it, uh, what it is, it's a tuning system. You, uh, there's instructions right there on the box and you cut your moose. So you take a hacksaw and you just cut it in half. Now, well this can be done with new mooses or old mooses. And uh, so let's start off with the old mooses. So you've had a moose, moose in your tire for a while, you know, been using it for a few months, and it's starting to get tired. It's, uh, it's worn down, it's gotten softer, uh, it's, and at that point it's actually shrunk, it's not fitting in the tire like it used to, so now you have a softer feel that you don't want, uh, especially for racer guys that want um, a really precise feel. So now you're getting some wiggle and wobble that you won't want, and maybe it's actually even gotten really bad uh, to where you're thinking about you just got to take it out and throw it away. So what you do is you, you know, take your hacksaw and you cut right through there, right through here, and then you stuff in a piece. And it tells you the instructions here. So how to do this. So anyhow, after you cut that, uh, you put it back in the tire and you spread it out. Uh, you, you push on both ends and you push both ends and get it really pushed out into the tire and then you'll end up with a gap. You know, there'll be a, a gap, you know, maybe something like this. Whatever that gap is, you measure it and you go over here to your moose and you make a piece that's two to four inches longer than that gap measurement. And you know, this is not rocket science and it's not really black and white exact stuff. You, you just, you know, your measurements can be pretty rough and still be fine. And uh, so you cut this piece to whatever size you need, you stick it in this gap that you've created here, and then that will make, that will extend the life of that moose and get, it, get the feel back that you want. So now if you've got a new moose, so you put a new moose in, you uh, probably, this would happen more often with the plush ones, the black one there. You put that in uh, and you thought, well, I like it, but it's a little too soft for me. And then the platinums are a little too hard for me. So I kind of want something in between. And maybe you've only got one ride on the thing and you've already got this conclusion. Well, you do the same thing. You cut the moose and you put a piece in. You know, you cut it, spread it, put the piece in, and that will make that firmer. So it might take it from that, you know, five to seven pound feel to maybe seven to nine pound feel. And, and there's no black and white way to know exactly what feel you're going to get. It's something you might have to experiment with. Uh, but, you know, you get the concept here. And like I said before, guys, the old hard, <coughs> excuse me, hardcore moose guys, they've already figured this stuff out. They've, they've been doing this for years. They just save old mooses and cut pieces out of them and stuff them in there and make them the way they want them to extend the life of their moose. Uh, this is, does that exact same thing, plus it offers a little bit more of a tuning capability for newer mooses, like, like, like I said, on the soft ones. Like I... You, I've tried the uh, soft mooses in the front and the back on my bike. I like the back one, but the front one's a little too soft for me. And then the platinum, the tan one there, is a little too hard. I don't like it. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this uh, and, and firm up that front one. 
to where I get a little firmer feel, a little more precise steering. Now these are only $17.95 and they come in the plushie, the black one, and the platinum, the tan one. So you want to order whatever moose you have in there now, you want to order the same uh, model, the plushie or the platinum in the wedge. Do not use the plush wedge with the platinum moose. That does not work. Uh, let's see, other things to tell you about this. So I did want to mention that, you know, make sure you lube it all up before you put it back together. And the way that we do that, well, you know, we use the nitro moose lube. This stuff's very inexpensive, the nitro cooling gel, they call it. Uh, I don't remember what it is, five or six dollars for a tube of that. And the, the easiest way to apply that, you know, in the old days we used to put it all over the moose and then wrestle it to get it back in. It was like uh, wrestling with a grease pig. You know, you get it part way in there, it shoot back out at you and, you know, you get it. So the better way to do that is in your tire, and you can do this when you're mounting your moose originally, or you can do it this way when you're tuning it with the nitro wedge is you take that cooling gel and you squirt it up into the crown of the tire. That's you know the crown, the highest point in, inside the tire there. And you just run a bead of it around inside that crown. You don't have to spread it out or anything, just run a bead out there. Then install your moose that's dry so you don't have to wrestle it. And uh, you know, it's a lot easier to hold on to. You just stuff it in there and then stuff your nitro wedge in or or whatever you're doing at the time. It makes it much easier than handling a lubed up moose. Much easier. And nitro moose has done tests on this. They put uh, the lube up in the crown and mounted the tire, rode it for only 10 minutes, came back, took it apart, and the lube was everywhere. So there's no worry about it spreading around. It, it does it by itself. Just the centrifugal force and the bouncing around and the bumps, it spreads around by itself just fine. So I think that's about all I need to tell you about this. Uh, you know, like I said before, everything is on the box. It tells you exactly how to do it. I just wanted to give you a little overview on it and give you a couple of tips there on how to do it. And, and like I said before, it's not black and white. You'll have to kind of mess with it, you know, if you... And, and, and this piece needs to be really kind of forced in there. You do not want it just flopping around in there. It needs to be long enough, you know, it needs to be oversized, like it says in the instructions, by two to four inches. So it's really tight in there. Um, and then if you don't, uh, you know, say if you put a put it towards four inches bigger than, than the gap and that maybe made it too firm, well then you could back it off some and do it three inches or two inches bigger than the gap. But it's just something you have to play with and then you'll figure out what to do on the next, you know, from there on. And uh, it's really great that they brought these out. Like I said, we've been asking them for a long time to do this because I, I was very familiar with this process. And luckily we now we've got a product on the market. Now if you guys have got some old mooses laying around, you can just do this on your own. You don't have to buy this nitro wedge. Um, but your old moose needs to be the same type as your new moose. Um, like it's, you know, you can't, and you shouldn't use like uh, a Michelin moose in with a nitro moose, anything like that. So just make sure you're using like mooses, same, same uh, firmness. All right, guys, I'm sorry this, this is dragging on a little longer than I intended. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. We answer our phones all the time. I'll also put in the, com um, yeah, the comment section right below the video a link to this product so it makes it easier for you to find on our site. And anytime you have questions, give us a call. You can also email at info at slavesracing.com. You can also use our, um, I forget what it's called, the little quick service that's on the, uh, pops up on, on the pages and you can uh, instantly talk to somebody here and uh, I think that's all for now get out and ride ciao